Natalie, thanks. Heading off to college for the first time can be tough, leaving your friends and family behind. But for students at one small women's college in Missouri, one piece of them can go with them. Here's NBC's John Yang. Meet members of Stevens College's class of 2014. So what's your major? Some are a little standoffish. A little camera shy, are we, Glenda? Actually, they're not students. Their owners are. And this is Galinda. This is Chester. This is Corey. He... This 1,000 student private women's college has allowed pets on campus since 2004. Around here, bags aren't always for books. Searcy Hall is the school's first dorm entirely populated by more than 40 students and their pets. Pet Central. There's a kennel in the basement complete with a doggy spa. Standard equipment in this dorm, a lint roller. Freshman Megan McGill is away from her family for the first time. What does it mean to you to have Leo here with your college? Um, he's like a piece of home. Okay, Corey, it's me. Nicole Crow is Corey's foster parent while he waits to be adopted from a local animal shelter. Nicole's a transfer student from Iowa State University. Did you have a pet there? No, I did not have a pet. I had a roommate. Which do you prefer? Uh, the pet. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing against the roommates that I had. Classrooms at Stevens are pet-free zones. When it's class time for the students, their pets can come down here to doggy daycare for a little playtime with their dorm mates. Hey, know of any good parties this weekend? Stevens promotes its pet-friendly policies and its marketing. College president Diane Lynch, who has three dogs and two cats, says there's more to it than that. We find that students who bring their dogs or, or cats or rabbits to campus actually are, are among our most responsible students. Part of it is time management, part of it is responsibility. Let's go for a walk. And part of it is having somebody to come home to at night when you've had a tough day who loves you at face value no matter what. For freshmen such as Kimberly Polite, the most important thing was that first night in the dorm. So you realize you're away from home and this is it. And I was, Daisy was laying right next to me and just cuddling with me and I was like, I'm not alone, it's gonna be okay, I got her. And that's a nice feeling for anybody. Oh, time for your close-up, Daisy. <laughs> for today, John Yang, NBC News, Columbia, Missouri. <laughs> Coming up, Miranda Cosgrove live in concert on Our Plaza, and these folks are waiting for us. Coming up after your local news and weather.